hello my lovelies and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this amazing present set isn't this lovely let's go straight into the video all right so i already have my um my nails prepped and um, I already put base coat over it so now I'm just going on top of the base coat you know the already cured base coat with this peachy color um, I want a nude base for the um, three in the middle but I don't the brown base that I have or the nude base that I have was kind of like too deep or too dark um, if i should explain it that way it was looking too dark and i wanted something that wouldn't you know give up that really really dark vibe so i decided to go in with something lighter underneath you guys will see how it will turn out in the end so i'm just using this peachy color on the three in the middle then i'm going to go in with um my green on the thumb and the pinky this green color is not exactly um, full coverage, but it, it gets the job. It <laughs> it gets the job done. I couldn't speak for a minute there. <laughs> it gets the job done. So um, I'm just going to go over the thumb and the pinky, like I said previously, with this green color. And having done that, I will just set that in the lamp for 60 seconds to try. Now that that is out of the lamp, I'm going to be using the nude color I spoke about earlier. Um, you can see what I'm saying this was a nude color i didn't want it to be too dark because if i had applied two coats of this nude on it it would be darker than this and i think i get to show you when i'm doing the second one like because it had that dark vibe when i was in the second one before i blended it all out but it was something like this this shade i wanted and that lighter base just gave it you know made it a little more transparent so can you see now if can you see i was comparing both of them if i had gone in with like a double coat of this color it would have been too dark and i absolutely did not want that so you can see me trying to get off the excess on the nail and putting it on the on other nail tip so that it's not as dark and I, i'm getting the same shade as what i have on the pointer finger okay <laughs> and i know you guys absolutely understand what i'm saying because you can see it so i'm leveraging on that um if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe if this is your first time here welcome um this is victoria tcs my name is victoria and i do nails and on this channel i sh i give you tips and tricks on what to do with nails and i also do whatever jumps into my head <laughs> basically so it always brings beauty and fun on this channel so you see me going in with a second coat of that green on this new tea you know to deepen the color just a little bit more having doubled them all like this um i put them back in the lamp for 60 seconds again that's one minute you know to dry or cure um between i am doing both um hands as i am working so i'm only shooting one hand but i'm actually doing both but i didn't want to include the other so you see what i'm saying i didn't want to include the other one in the video because i didn't want to like boss and make it unnecessarily too long so on the middle fingers i'm going to be drawing um french you know french smile lines on the um on the three middle fingers 
if I can put it that way. So I'm going in with this really thin scrappy brush I got from our shop, um, Shop TCS. You can look us up on Instagram um, to find all your nail, um, nail products basically. So this stripy brush, I think this is the 15 um, millimeter one. I'm not exactly sure of the one I'm using, but I think this is the 15 millimeter one is long and thin. And that's what I use to, you know, draw out my French smile line. So you see me, the way I start off, I'm going to do it again with the other nail tips. You see that I draw those, you know, really straight lines or not straight lines, slant lines down the, um, all the way down from the top of where I want my French to start from to the um, end. And I try as much as possible to get my smile line really really crisp and nice that's the whole idea just getting your smile line as crisp as you can possibly possibly <laughs> as you can possibly get it and once i'm able to achieve that i am always so happy but you know this just takes practice and practice you just need to it's not a big deal it's not hard it, it just needs <laughs> practice basically and once i'm satisfied with that i go in with my big brush and i just you know cover up all the places that needs to be green um the reason why i will not be double coating this green color is because the base is already dark and that is you know with the brown or the nude is already dark so it's it gives off that solid color vibe do you understand it's not transparent it gives off the, off the solid color <laughs> what is happening to me it gives off the solid color vibe basically and the line i draw like um connecting the other two lines together is just to know where my smile is going to be um ending do we understand yet yeah, to know where my smile is going to be ending but um i think i sort of felt like this one was a little too um down or too long so i just you know cut that and tried to make my smile more up so that it can be more symmetrical with the um previous one i did my hands were so shaky because i had not eaten and yeah it's when the line work when you have not eaten or when you have just taken coffee or something so i'm just going in with my silicone tool to save the day i always use my silicone tool as sort of like an eraser for uh, my mistakes when i work so anytime i'm creating like maybe a french line or um something of that sort and I make a mistake. I just go in with my um, silicone tool and try to, you know, get that out or clean it off. And it actually works. Trust me, you guys. It actually really, really works. So once I get that off, I can retrace my steps and try to make them as, you know, straight as possible. And look at those two, looking very, very nice and sharp. Then um, I had forgotten that the my stand fell and that particular one broke off so i glued it <laughs> to the rest of the stand so it can't come off i can't do it individually or you know i can't do that one alone so i am just going to have to you know find a way to 
squeeze myself into that corner and do what needs to be done and that's what you're seeing right now every single thing you see in this video from the nail stand to the nail tips to the colors to the brushes can be found on shop tcs or i would link um i would link um our website in the description box you know if you're in nigeria and you're buying goods over ten thousand naira from the website you get um a free delivery no matter where you are in the country and if you are abroad um you know you're not in nigeria that is and you buy something worth 200 dollars and above you know you get a free shipping to you also so it's kind of like a fair deal i'm bringing to you guys so remember if you're in nigeria ten thousand naira and above and if you're outside the country um two hundred thousand and above and you you know you get to buy all the things that you need every single thing you're seeing in this video you can get on the website so please visit the website and you know patronize me <laughs>
Okay, so now I went back to the thumb. You know, this wasn't dried yet, and I realized that you know it just looked it looked funny like it was too spread out for my liking i didn't like the way it looked so this had already um bloomed a little and i just threw that in the lamp straight up because i was satisfied with how much it had bloomed or how far it had bloomed and i decided to redo the thumb because i really didn't like what it was looking like the white had already overshadowed the green color that was placed there in the first place and i didn't like that so i decided to do it again now going in with the bottom of my um stripey brush again just making um little little semicircles and you, if you notice these ones are more spaced out so that they don't clump together um in the end these ones are more spaced out and i'm just repeating the same method again as you can see that one decided to drop on the um at this point i couldn't be bothered because i knew the um white was still going to bloom out so like it really won't make that uh, much of a difference and i just continued So immediately i was done with that i just put it in the lamp and this is i had to just dry this one so that it doesn't like bloom past exactly where i want it to bloom past <laughs> if that makes any sense um so i'm going to apply the bloom gel to these three at first i was skeptical that hmm, should i do them one by one or i should do them all together but i knew that i could easily just come up with like a plan to do them all at once together and that was to do them simultaneously so that's what i did moving forward
now what you'll see me do is clean up the side of the nail because i really when when the bloom gel like pulls you see some residue on the sides of the nail so you want to be sure that you catch everything and it dries properly do you get so um i did the same thing to the other nail and you saw me just putting it in the lamp and now i'm just applying my top coat on the entire thing because i'm pretty much done with the base designs and it's just the jewels that i want to put on it or stones or decorations nail decorations that i want to put on it that are left so you see me applying my nail top coat to the nail to seal in the entire design yeah So now I'm just going in with my um, stone glue, it's more of like a jaw, um, oh, I forgot the name of this one I'm using, oh, um, what's the name, I'll most likely put it in the description, <laughs> I completely forgot the name of this one but it's a builder gel, um, I completely forgot the name of the one I'm currently using but I'll, I'll leave it down in the description, now this is a flat back um, diamond stone and I'm going to be using it in the color green I think I have this particular type of stone in like different colors but I wanted you know the green to match up with the base color even if they are not like the exact shade of green and I'm just going in with this you know tiny AB crystals um, towards the end and yeah I'm just fixing that up side by side you know to kind of i was working freehand here because i was i didn't have like any picture i was looking at or anything so the creation of the jewels were just coming from my head and i decided to just follow whatever my ancestors <laughs> bring to my mind and that's what i'm doing but you see me trying to secure the stones with the um the glue that's underneath it and i'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't slip and slide since i'm not curing it like in between and all so i decided that you know what i feel like the stone needed a little um something at the bottom also and yeah i was just playing around this point i decided to add like a little more green stones um the green stones match up a little with the um green um the big green stone so i just wanted something that would bring the look together and i think this was it i, I thought it looked you know like really really beautiful and i really liked it so i dried that in the lamp this is the second hand that's why it doesn't have the um 
stones on it yet but for these ones i just decided that i needed like some charms and i was going to be doing the same charm on either um finger so i i just use this um dollar sign charm um you can get every single thing you're seeing right here in this video you can get it from shop tcs on instagram um at shop tcs i'm just going to leave the handle right here and also leave um the link to the instagram on on um in the description box sorry and um it we ship what what world <laughs> what am i saying we ship worldwide actually so no matter where you are you can get your goods and you know have them delivered to you safely as safe as possible so yeah i'm doing the exact same thing here this is the finger that went in before or the hand that went in before so i'm doing the exact same thing here and applying the dollar charms to it also we have a variety of charms and they may just you know make the nail look more exquisite and you know nicer so yeah if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you made it this far i'm kind of confused as to what you're waiting for <laughs> please subscribe i post con content like this um all the time and you know it's just a platform for each and every one of us to learn together so yes this is the final look i absolutely love it i feel like everything came out so beautiful and yes um don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to leave in the comment section what you think about this set and what um subsequent sets you would want to see on this channel i would make it happen so thank you so much guys for sitting in and watching this video i will see you guys in the next video.